everyone. Welcome you all for this series on Power BI. Hope you're all doing great. Well, in this video, I'm going to explain you how to create pie chart and donut chart. So before plotting any graph, you need to understand what kind of data, which graph has to be chosen. Okay, so we use this pie chart and donut chart when you want to analyze one categorical variable and a numerical variable. When you want to analyze one categorical text kind of column and one a numerical kind of column, in that case, we go with a pie chart or a donut chart. And make sure in that categorical column, there should be categories less than five. If it has a categories, if it has a categories or a unique values in that column should be less than five. Only then the pie chart and donut chart is going to work. Okay, so let's say for example, now uh, I have taken our orders data that is super slow sales data. I just want to know, I want to analyze sales by category. So we have three categories like, you know, technology, office supplies, furniture. I want to know what are the total sales in each category. So for that, I'm going with a pie chart. It's pretty simple. You can go and select a pie chart here from a visualization panel. Click on that pie chart and just fix to a, or adjust to a bit. And then go to our data and just select your sales. Double click on sales or else check on the sales. Check on sales box. And similarly, check on you know category column. You got a pie chart. So this is how we create pie chart in order to analyze a categorical column with a numerical column. I hope you can see. So which particular category is giving the higher sales? If you want to do formatting, since our data labels look like very small, right? So go to a format option and go to a detail label. You can prefer the position like outside or inside. It's left to you. Uh, if you want, I can go with inside as well. You can see the sales value and the percentage of that sales. And label contains, uh, you can, if you want to see only the category, you can select a category. It will show only the category. If you want everything, that's like a sales, percentage, everything, you can select all detail labels. It shows everything and you can format the values. Just go to our values and just increase the size of it. See, this is how we create a pie chart. You can change color as well, like whatever color you want, you can just change it to that particular color. See something like this. So I think white looks good. Let it be the theme. You can also increase the font size, something like this. Yeah. You can also change the color of uh, your slices. You have an option called as a slices. Go to slices and you can change color. Whatever color you want, you can select. If you're not happy with this color, you can just change the color. Whatever you want, you can give that particular color. Okay. So this is all about, you know, changing slicing colors. So the next one is, what if you want to change a legend? Go to our legend. Legend is something which you see here. So it's at our center right, right? If you want, supposed to be at our bottom center, just select our bottom center. You can see things at the bottom. Go to our text and just increase the font size. And if you want, you can make it bold. If you don't want the title that is a category, you can just turn off the title. So this is how you create a pie chart and this is how you do a formatting. And let's say I want to do a title formatting. Go to a general and here you have a title. So title name is given. If you want, you can also change it. And if you want to increase the font, you can just increase it here. Make it bold. And also you can just give a text color as well as. You can make it a center alignment and also you can give a border, whatever border you want. I mean, like a background color, you can give background color as well. So this is how you create a pie chart as well as you do a formatting. Similarly, you can create a donut chart. Simple. Let's go to the next page and let's see how to create a donut chart. Donut chart works exactly like a pie chart. Pie chart just shows you, you know, the circle is divided into different parts. Your donut shape looks like a shape of a donut. And it's like a segment graph. You can see the segments, right? So let's say I want to see region-wise sales. I'll select a region and I'll select sales. So this is how, you know, donut chart is going to work. Whatever format I showed, whatever formatting sh I showed it for a pie chart, same thing can be implemented even for this donut chart and make it a beautiful and, you know, attractive graph. So from this, you can understand that which particular region is giving the higher sales. So clearly, 
West is giving highest uh, highest seats because the the percentage is very high. That is thirty one point five eight percent, right? So similarly, the which region is giving you very less seats? So this region, this is South region. So this is how you do analysis. This is how you understand regarding your pie chart and a donut chart. I hope it's clear. Thank you. Happy learning.